everyone, this would be day four where I'm going to be going to Masada and the Dead Sea. So far you're just going to see a lot of scenery because in my opinion it was just so beautiful seeing all of these different landscapes to me. So I tend to record this really cool stuff. Don't worry, if you want, you can even ride the camel trip if you feel like it. Now, uh, we just passed the sea level. But it's not special. You want, take a, you want to be in the sea level, just go back to Tel Aviv. In the end of the day, you are in the sea level. But why it is special? Because you drove up. No. Welcome to Masada National Park. But I went in <laughs> the heat of the summer of Israel and basically it was really nice to have taken a tour that was air conditioned just to get there. I just like slept a little bit as my usual wake up time when I was in Israel was 5 in the morning. We went through the Judean desert and we passed the Dead Sea as we get to Masada and Masada was basically a mountain topped by a fortress palace built by King Herod over 2,000 years ago. We go through a cable ride and we get to see these really awesome ruins in the middle of the desert and you're just like, how did somebody live in the middle of the desert? And it has a great view of the Dead Sea, but honestly, you just need to think about it and be like, how did somebody do this back then? <laughs> but yeah, you see a lot of crumbled remnants and it's very interesting historically. So I'm currently on the spot right behind me is the Dead Sea and we're going up. didn't have the AC or anything. <laughs> impressive thing for me is that people actually lived here and they lived very well. Supposedly Masada is pretty 
cool in the winter. It's just the summers that are kind of brutal, but you know, I'm sure the Romans had their way of figuring out how to live here comfortably. Okay guys, I'm not gonna do this video for much time because the heat is actually stifling. So you can see behind me, it's the Dead Sea. And this was Masada. Masada was really great. Right now we're just at a gift shop. Honestly, the only thing I got was mineral mud from here, Ahava, I believe it's called. But the heat is just so scorching, I just feel like taking a nap. And we're gonna go to the Dead Sea now, so hopefully it's, it's fun. Yeah, and then we went to the Dead Sea, which we were there for two hours. It was a really cool experience where I could not for the life of me just float on my stomach. <laughs> and it was just like, I felt like Superman, basically. Like, kind of like I was like, like, you know, Kind of flying but instead i was just floating on the water it was a really cool experience do you see what it says there it says the lowest beach in the world kalia beach so some side notes the, the heat here is no joke i feel like i've been saying it more than ever but please bring a parasol Please wear sunscreen. Please bring a helmet. Super important. I used a lot of the mud there and it was just a really strange experience. I recommend you don't get any cuts because it will seriously hurt. Are you waiting? Yeah, Uh-oh. Oh, you want to get a drink? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's true. I will too. <laughs> So, you're not gonna find any relief from like palm trees here. The good thing is they have like little umbrellas. The lowest bar in the world is right there, so that's kind of cool. It's gorgeous though, so no complaints there, but yeah, this heat is killer, guys. What time is it? 10 minutes. Oh, Jesus. Okay. It's a weird situation, but... The really cool thing about the Dead Sea is that it is Earth's lowest point, and it is about 400 meters below sea level. I also got some Dead Sea products because I am all about skincare, and I had a really great experience all in all. Stay tuned because my next adventure is coming up next Tuesday. Bye guys!